Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. My name is Scoundrel, and today we're going to be going over the top 10 underrated mobile games. These are mobile games that I have thoroughly enjoyed that maybe don't get the same love and attention that you would see from some of the bigger multiplayer games on the market right now. Uh, of course, thanks to G2A for sponsoring the channel. There is a reference link in the description below. I'm not going to waste too much of your time for you guys uh, that are new to the channel. I'm going to dive pretty much straight into the list, and I'm going to start off with one of my favorite puzzle games of probably the last few years called Gotta Goa. came out in 2017. Doesn't have that many downloads on the Google Play Store. And if you look at it on Steam, it is a 99% overwhelmingly positive uh, review ratings. This game is an experience. That is the best way that I can put it. Um, I'll, of course, talk about the pros and cons, but let's start off with the pros. It is a puzzle game unlike any I have ever played. The premise is very simple. You have these four image slots uh, of which you can navigate around different worlds, and you have to find ways to interact with each images to progress the story. I really don't want to give too much away about this game. I, what I'm showing you right here is the kind of the first 30 seconds of gameplay because I really didn't feel like there was a, a good reason to show you any further than that. You can see everything that is so magical about this game kind of in this first 30 seconds, but it only gets better from here. The way that you interact with the, the different worlds is just unlike any other game, and I feel like it's just a game that you have to play. But of course, there are some cons. It is a paid game up front. This is not free. It's much cheaper on mobile than it is on Steam. Um and probably more reasonably priced for the amount of time that you get to spend in it. This game took me about an hour to complete. There is so, some replayability value, but not that much. However, I was not dissatisfied with that kind of hour of my life that I'd spent playing this game. It really was something quite special, and uh, I would definitely, definitely recommend that you guys check this out if you have the spare cash to invest in a fun puzzle game. Next up, slightly different, going a bit more out left wing. Get it? Data wing, left wing. Ah, uh, yeah, that's that's a terrible joke. Uh, a little bit more popular than some of the other games on this list, but it is completely free to play, very highly rated on the Google Play Store. So I'd recommend if you've got spare space on your phone, you've got the spare data, go and give this game a look. I would say from my very brief playtesting of the game, it feels a little bit F0X come asteroid. Obviously, very asteroid type graphics, but the gameplay feels very F Zero Xy. You are essentially playing a racing game. It has got a story. You are a, a data package delivery service for an AI. Um, and essentially, this AI is kind of like, the, I guess, the computer processor. And that little arrow that you're controlling delivers packets of information. But they do it in such fun and unique ways that are sort of races. There are uh, escape levels where you just have to get to the exit. There are challenge levels where you have to kind of overcome puzzles. So it has a lot of elements of gameplay in there that I find are really fun. And one of the other things that I really love about this game is it's actually got quite a fun story. The AI is quite sarcastic. Uh, it is written really well. I found, my, I found myself laughing quite a few times in the opening 30 minutes of the game. And you'll notice that, that the game, you know, progressively gets harder and harder as well, of course, as you'd expect. It is a really fantastic game. And, you know, I say I do cons and downsides. This game doesn't really have any. It is completely free to play. There is literally no downside uh, for you going ahead and checking out this game. So I would thoroughly recommend if you want to, and you're into this kind of racing, come puzzle, come arcade style game, uh, Data Wings absolutely a game that you've got to play at some point uh, in the next year it is really really engaging really fun and i've enjoyed every moment that i've played of it so far the next game that i want to highlight is cards universe and everything or q for short it is a game that is free to download free to play but of course has microtransactions in the game for unlocking new cards and when it says it's cards universe and everything it, it quite literally is that there are cards for everything and you know anything that you can think of that exists as an object as an animal whatever there are cards for it nuclear power station they've got that every type of shark you can think of they've got that world war ii planes probably got that the fun thing about this game is that you can you can build decks around the most ridiculous things and build ridiculous combos between things you just would never have thought would synergize in real life or probably don't even synergize in real life it's a really well thought out game that allows you to explore hell like loads of elements 
uh, of the universe around us including history mythology um science religion it, it has everything in there that you could possibly think of it is a fantastic game for kind of the pure sheer enjoyment of the world of course you know when we talk about cons we are looking at the fact that it is play to uh, pay to win to an extent you do pay to unlock card packs but from what i've seen they're quite generous to free to play players um and so you can definitely enjoy the game from the outset in terms of the premise um you're seeing what you see on screen you have rounds a little bit like marvel snap if you guys have played marvel snap you, there are rounds and you have three rounds or three turns per round to play your cards uh the person that has the most points or the, that little point bar that squiggles between the two um between the two players whoever that's closest to ends up losing at the end of the round and it's usually either a best out of five or a best out of three um to see who comes out on top this game that i'm playing is a best out of five and essentially you bank cards for later rounds depending on the arena that you're in for instance this is the space arena i have loads of space cards and if your cards match the arena they get a power bonus so you can see i saved my entire hand to play effectively in the space arena um you can play intra round strategies where you pass certain turns and go for big 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 uh, combo rounds later on loads of different strategies that you can employ in queue and if you like card games and you want to have a check if there's something out that's free to play please do so it is really fun i've had a lot of fun playing it as well coming in at number four is void pyramid completely free to play no in-game app purchases and it is a full game available to download made by a single developer not everybody will like the art style of this game it is very retro so you're looking at stuff that's uh, kind of like old school game boy style graphics pretty much all sprite based and the fights very much look like they were done in uh, ms paint you'll see them soon you know it's it is a unique art style for that particular instance and as you can see the, the controllers very much reflect game boy like controllers as well so you can kind of see where the inspiration came from for this game but it is completely free and there are hours and hours worth of gameplay in this game um if you like those classic type of zelda games dungeon crawlery puzzle solving type uh 2d games especially with these rpg elements involved in them as well this is a game that i guarantee that you'll have hours playing it's a completely free single player game it doesn't take up that much space on your phone this is what i mean by the the ms paint style uh fight sequences by the way but it is made by a single dev you know and i've got to commend the effort here i think it is fantastic um uh, you know for one person to be able to create a game like this on their own so yeah I, I can't not recommend it it is if you like this type of game a fantastic choice and i think you'll definitely get a lot of hours of enjoyment out of it and number five this is another game probably my favorite on the list if i'm honest with you i played goragoa before i made this but i'd never played the westport independent before i'd play uh, made this list and i'm gonna be honest with you this gave me strong papers please vibes if you've ever played papers please it is probably one of the best games that you can have your first playthrough of and i got extreme papers please vibes from this game the premise is you are a newspaper editor who has been put under a directive of a government controlled propaganda scheme um essentially independent newspapers are now being forced or will be severely punished if they don't adhere to government publishing guidelines so very much about propaganda and about how the government can control the media and it's your job to balance kind of getting the real news out there whilst not alerting the government that you're publishing too many negative stories whilst balancing the views of your journalists that you work with whilst also trying to sway the public in one way or the other you can go down the full propaganda route you can be an editor that fully gives in to that government propaganda and tries to get the majority of the public on the loyalist side or you could be that rebel editor trying to sneak out those news stories that ignite the public and kind of at least try to uh, promote a revolution it is uh, a very very interesting game I, again i don't want to show you too much of the gameplay um but it is very very complex you've got so many decisions that you can make uh, in terms of publishing news stories and papers and which ones you choose and there are several endings that you can play for and is again i cannot believe this game is free it is really 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 top tier mobile game um and i haven't yet played it through this is one of the few games on the list that i'm going to go back and absolutely play as soon as i'm finished doing this the other ones you know will definitely take my time to get through but this is the game that you're going to see me playing this 
evening in my bed playing through uh, to try and get one of the endings. Again, I think that that overview hopefully tells you all that you need to know, but I cannot recommend this one enough. From the, from the sort of the half an hour to an hour that I played from it already, I was almost hooked. I didn't make this video almost because I was playing this game for too long. That probably tells you all you need to know. Another game that I can't quite believe is free is Mindustry. If you've ever played a game like Factorio, you'll know exactly the type of game that I'm talking about. It is a factory building simulator, mining, conveyor belts, logic gates, essentially setting things up immaculately so you have automated production all the way across your base. And with Mindustry, there is also tower defense and RTS elements too. It is a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant game. Uh, I've played it through a long time ago on the PC. Uh, I didn't even realize it was on mobile, but I have found that you can essentially download it for free on Google Play and iOS. And it is essentially that complete full package game. It is absolutely brilliant. And again, if you're into this type of game, Mindustry will kind of scratch that itch on your mobile. If you're into the type of games where you like setting up your base, you like having immaculate, you know, conveyor belt systems. You love kind of the logic behind kind of setting these conveyor belt systems up properly as well. Then, you know, you're going to absolutely love what Mindustry uh, can provide for you. Again, don't want to go into too much detail because there is a story involved as well. But you have elements of kind of protecting and building your base. You've got elements of exploring and kind to trying to deal with enemy bases and enemy colonies. You've got those RTS elements, like I've said, a little bit like the old school Command and Conquer vibes. You've got tower defense elements in there as well. A game that you, I think you could spend, easily spend countless hours on before you're able to actually complete it. And what is even more impressive is that I didn't realize this. The last time I played, there was only one campaign. There are now two campaigns to actually play through on um, Industry. And again, all for free. Fantastic game. The next game on this list, World Box, is not unheard of, uh, 10 million downloads, definitely not super underrated, but I don't think it's talked about maybe as much as it should be. It is a completely limitless, to an extent, uh, life simulator. You can do whatever you like. You can build thriving colonies, kingdoms, you can force kingdoms to go to war. You can have crocodiles invade bear camps, spawn a plague of turtles, rain lightning down completely destroy pixels build entire worlds to your complete design it really is as it says on the tin a sandbox a god simulator uh, to an extent and it, i've had a lot of fun playing this it's not a game that i could see myself sinking hours and hours into at a time but it's definitely one of those games that i'll pick up on travel and give it a play for a, a period of time now the free-to-play version does limit you to what you can do i i've had a, i've had a lot of fun don't get me wrong playing the only free to play version but uh you are limited to some of the powers that you can actually use now you can access some of those for free using the little present icon that you can see uh, the gift icon that you can see at the top right hand side of your screen but to unlock the full suite of uh kind of abilities and powers you do need to pay now as far as i'm aware it's a one-time payment and it's not a couple of like not a micro transaction thing so once you've done that one-time payment you're there but again just letting you know that this game does have some content locked behind a paywall the next game in this list is mini metro this game does have a paywall so you have to pay to download it but if you like problem solving logic based puzzles this is a game that i would thoroughly say is worth the investment between this game and westport this is the two games that I spent the longest playing while actually recording content. Um, it's a really, really fun game about building an enlarging and ever more complex metro system for procedurally generated cities. It is really fantastic in terms of kind of getting you to think about how the flow of traffic and the flow of people uh, is important to kind of building these interconnecting railway systems and it makes it you know it gets ever more complex as time goes on won't say much more than that because there isn't really much more to it it sounds horrifically simple when you say it out loud but that simplicity is really what makes it that much more exciting this is a fantastic game and if you do have the spare cash and you enjoy very relaxing very uh, engaging puzzle games 
I definitely think Mini Metro should be up there on your list of games to try. And if you don't, you're missing out. This is the most expensive game on the list. Crying Sons. Now, this was originally a PC release that was then ported over to mobile. It is expensive, but what you get is a complete game with a complete story, massive amounts of replayability. Hours and hours can be put into Crying Sons. It really is a beautiful game, not only artistically and kind of visually, but also from gameplay to kind of like the, the storyline as well. I won't spoil anything to do with the story. It is one of those games that you need to play through to really appreciate the full extent. This is a game that I've actually ironically completed already. This is one of the few games on this list that I've actually already played for hours and hours and hours already, but I wanted to include it because it's only had 100,000 downloads on the Google Play Store. Now, I imagine that's because the price tag is clearly in the way, so the barrier to entry is a lot higher. Uh, but if you do have, you know, a spare nine dollars or so and you're looking for a game to play on your phone that will keep you entertained for hours crying sons is definitely it. in terms of gameplay it's essentially it's hard to describe there is lots of elements to crying sons it is a kind of like a roguelike so you obviously upgrade over time by playing numerous runs because obviously you're not good you don't complete the game on the first run through or at least if you do you're very skilled um there are kind of like a real time um, tactical battles which you use fleets and guns in, in in battle with other ships there is an upgrade pathway for your character and your ships there's plenty of different ships there's different storyline paths you can take essentially it has everything in it in terms of you know fun enjoyable roguelike elements so i would thoroughly thoroughly recommend this game if you can afford it and it's also one of those times that i actually say it's worth the price tag um like i said with Goragoa, i think it's one of those games that it's absolutely a must play in my eyes but it's a short game and might not be worth the price tag associated with it crying sons absolutely worth the price tag associated with it it is a really really brilliant game number 10 is terraria certainly not an unknown game for those of you that have played on pc you'll say why the hell is this in your underrated games this is one of the most critically acclaimed games of all time Yes, but not everyone knows it's on mobile, and that's why I wanted to put it on this list, just to make people aware that you can get Terraria on your mobile. Now, for those of you that have played through it on PC, you probably won't want to pay the cost. There is obviously a download cost. I believe it's $4.99 for me. I don't know what it would be for everyone else. But there is a download cost, so if you've played this on PC, probably not something that you're going to be interested in. If you have never played Terraria, however, thoroughly, thoroughly recommend giving this a go, especially if you haven't got a PC to play on. This is a cross between Zelda and Minecraft is the best way that I can put it. It's got all of the resource gathering, base building, crafting elements that you'd expect to see in a game like Minecraft, but it has a much richer um, RPG driven storyline and kind of like upgrade uh, mechanics that you'd expect to see from more tra a more tra traditional RPG. Wow, I can't talk. I'm not going to edit that out because I can't be bothered. I've already had to do this section about 17 times. <laughs> but... It is a very, very, very good game, and it has hours and hours and hours of gameplay. And not only that, it has fully functional multiplayer on uh, the mobile version as well. So you can play with your friends or your family members. You can build worlds together. This is one of the most critically acclaimed games of all time for a reason, but now on mobile. And that's why I wanted to include it in this list, despite it not being underrated as a title, but maybe underrated as a mobile game. And that completes my list. I hope you find something on here that you guys feel like playing in the near future. And I hope that you go away and especially the free games, enjoy them. Uh, if you have any other suggestions that you would love to have seen on this list, please let me know in the comments below and I'll see you very soon.